Josh Green here for Tanks and Tales. Delighted like to be joined by one of the newest tour card holders in the PDC, GM Van Veen. How are you doing, GM? All good. Thanks for having me. Good, good. It must be a, a good couple of weeks for you getting that tour card. Looking forward to the, the first Pro Tour as a tour card holder now. Yeah, of course. Really looking forward to getting started on the Pro Tour as, as a full time now. Of course, I got a small taste of it last year, but uh, no, I'm really looking forward. Yeah, you, you mentioned that small taste, and that's what we'll we'll start with. Towards the back end of the year, I think people were really taking notice of you. You reached a final of a Pro Tour. You'd obviously won development tours and challenge tours before. Um, started to feel like you were really making some making some moves. Yeah, yeah, I felt great last year. Of course, it was my kind of breakthrough year. Um Made my debut on the European Tour, won my first PDC title and the Challenge Tour and first one at the Development Tour. Um, of course, made my debut at the Pro Tour, even made a final and uh, qualified for the Player Championship final. So, yeah, it's been a real good year and, yeah, I loved it playing on the Pro Tour and I can't wait to get started uh, as a full-time now. Hmm. You mentioned it being your breakthrough year. When you're playing on that Pro Tour against those big names and you're drawn against the Michael Van Gerwens, the Gerwin prices of the world. What's What was that experience like at the start? Yeah, it was amazing, of course. It was the first time I walked into that room and I looked around me and it was like every every player you normally see on the telly, everyone was there and it was just a great feeling to be one of them. Um, but of course, you're there to do your thing. You're there to win your games and try to let the world see what you can do. And I think I quite succeeded with that last year. I made a couple of deep runs, um, beat some good players. Mm. And yeah, of course, I lost to the to the to very good players. But I, there's no shame in that. I don't think I'd, I lost a game which was like, hmm, I was the favourite to win it. So no, I, I think I made a good impression of myself on the Pro Tour. And uh, yeah, I'm quite happy with it. Mm. That final run, toward, I think it was the last weekend of Pro Tours. Yeah. What was going through your mind at that point when you were beating these big names and you found yourself in a pro tour final because i'm sure you weren't expecting to be no, there of course. The no of course not there was um my first uh there was on a thursday or friday i think and i on the monday before i, I received my first prototypes of my uh my own dart my personalized dart from red dragon um so there was the first tournament i played with him so it was like kind of nervy at the yeah. start but then uh, I beat Bradley Brooks first game and then the second game I played Brendan Dolan and he missed like six match starts to beat me um, and I won that game and then afterwards I felt like every round now is a bonus because you should have been out. Uh, Brendan missed six match starts so you shouldn't even be here. So every, uh, that kind of relieved, uh, no, the, released the pressure on me. Um, so every round was a bonus but I kept on playing well. The next game I played a 109 average then I beat Alan Sutar I beat William O'Connor and then in the semis I played Chizzy. And then um, when I got 6-3 up, I was like, oh, what am I doing here? Because you only need one more leg to make the final. So, yeah, it was in my head like, oh, what are you doing? Now it can get real, you know. And luckily I got over the line in that game. And, yeah, it was just an amazing feeling uh, that day. It was uh, unbelievable. Mm, I mean, at the start of last year, were you expecting to have those sort of opportunities? Did you feel like you could make enough on the challenge tour that you'd find yourself in in pro tours yes and no i think my level was there uh, but especially at the beginning of the year and the back end of 2021 i struggled with dartitis mm. so um i didn't know what to expect for that year my, my my main goal was to get rid of it and just play uh, with freedom this year or last year and um but of course i made the european tour in march which was a good start to the year I missed the first weekend of development tour action uh, due to COVID, which was uh, a bummer. But the next week I qualified for the European tour, so that kind of made up for it. And that was really the start of my year. And just uh, from there on, it went better every weekend. And um, yeah, I, I don't know. But if you said to me at the start of the of the year, you make uh, the, if you get the results what you did last year, I wouldn't believe you. No. Mm. You talk about dartitis. There, we've seen so many top players go through it. You, you were 20 years of age and you've had to deal with that what what was it like and how were you able to sort of get through it yeah it was horrible uh, especially on the Q school in the first weekend of the challenge tour it was just such a struggle to release the darts uh, everyone was through to the last 16 and I was for instance still playing the last 64 I was running behind and everyone was had to wait for me and 
even my opponent struggled with it, of course, because they had to wait for such a long time. And my energy was just very low uh, because of, it took so much energy to to win my games. But I still played well. So I still got through to the last 16s or last 32s of the challenge tour. And my level didn't drop, which was good because I knew that even with the struggles, I still kept on winning some games. So um, I, I gained some confidence by winning those games. Mm-hmm. And, you know, Dark Tide is such a mental thing. And with, for me, gaining confidence really, really yeah, got rid of the Dark Tide. It still is there sometimes, but not really bothering me or anything. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I'm happy with it. how it's going now. That's good. Um, let's talk about sort of your beginnings in darts. We've known you for the last couple of years, really seeing you on development tours and, and challenge tours. But where did it all start for you, your journey in darts? Well, I played foot uh, played football until I was like nine, ten years old, and then there was a local darts tournament at the, at the club, and um, I won that tournament. But it was uh, with all the seniors as well playing, and I won the tournament. And there were some local players who said, "Oh, you really got some talent. You should do something with it if you like it." And I always watched it on the television, mm-hmm. um, and so I tried some local tournaments and just thought, "Yeah, let's see how it goes." And then I really liked playing darts and. Yeah, I was kind of good at it, not particularly well. I did never make the, the Dutch youth team or something, but I played okay. I won local tournaments uh, as a youth player, and yeah, since uh, kind of since COVID, it just accelerated really fast. And um, but yeah, that's kind of how I got into it. And then I quit football after a couple of years because it just wasn't combining; it wasn't possible anymore. And yeah, just uh, that's how I rolled into the the world of darts. So even at what nine ten years of age, you uh, you had that talent, and there was opportunities for you to sort of maybe not maybe not make a career at that point, but you knew you could be a good player. Yeah, yes, to me, at least that's what everyone told me. So yeah, <laughs> um, I, w- I won a couple of uh, Dutch rankings uh, under the third uh, year of thirteen. I won the Dutch Open. Mm. Um, so yeah, there was some talent in there, but it just normally was good at the local tournaments but at the big tournaments it just never showed uh, until I got like 16 17 or maybe 18 so that's where it really turned at that point um but yeah at the youth I was doing okay hmm. do you feel like your progression has really been um accelerated over the last couple of years you seem to be going up level after level and you've you've gone from as you say like a a good youth player to now a a good pro player. Yeah, for sure. At least uh, during COVID, before, pre-COVID, I played the development tour, but I never hit like 75 or 80 averages. They were like my maximum. Mm. And then during COVID, I played a lot of online tournaments, um, beat some good players, lost to some good players, but it really gave me confidence because I knew what I was capable of at home, but I never really showed it, especially not in the PDC um, because I made like one last 16 in, in my first two years at the development tour. So, but then the COVID came, I played lots of online tournaments, played good. And that really gave me confidence. And then the first weekend after, or during COVID, the first weekend back at the development tour in, um, in Barnsley, I played well, made a couple of last 16s, got through my group at the World Youth Championships. And I played well, and it really gave me confidence going forward to the next tournament that I know I can do it now. I've shown it myself on the, on the, on the development tour as well. And that really gave my career a, a kickstart. And, yeah, as you said, the last year, it really accelerated even more, uh, played even better, and I hope it continues that way. Mm-hmm. Uh, and Q School, obviously the place where you've got your tour card, you've now turned pro, you're in the top 128 in the world. Um, what was the experience like? I've spoke to a couple of players that were there over that that week or so, and they just say it's absolutely brutal. I'm sure you're going to tell me the same. Yes, yes, it is. You know, I, I qualified for the final stage uh, through the development tour and challenge tour ranking last year. So I didn't have to play the first three days, which was a relief. Uh, so I got, like, the main goal was, of course, to get that tour card. And you, you got four days. You need one good day or four decent days, and then yeah. you're in. And I knew I can do it. But as you say, there are lots of good players over there in, 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 in Germany as well. Um, so it really was tough. Uh, you have to play it your best every game, and if if you lose like the first round and the first two days, you know you have to get to a deep. Uh, you have to you need a deep run, 
in order to maintain one of those spots. And but luckily, I did it at four decent days. Didn't play very well, but played good enough. And um, yeah, just happy to get that tour card. Did you put your under, you put yourself under pressure to get that tour card? Did you really think this was the opportunity? Yes and no, because beforehand I saw everyone making their lists and their picks to get the tour card and I saw my name everywhere and everyone was telling me, oh, if you play like you played on the Pro Tour, you should get that card easily. But it's not that easy, of course, mm -hmm. because there are uh, in the final stage 128 players in the room and like 80 who, who deserve to get that tour card, in my opinion. Yeah. So it was really tough. And um, of course, I'm in my final year of, of, of college now. Um, that's my priority to, to get my degree. So Q school, of course, it was my goal to get the tour card. But if you do get it, it's a bonus. If not this year, just challenge tour. And if, if I, without a tour card, have the same year as last year, I would sign up immediately. So um, as long as I get my degree this year, that I'm good. But of course, now with the tour card, uh, hopefully a, a really good year on the tour. Mm. You were mentioning off camera that you're doing, you're starting your thesis soon, and that's obviously going to be right at the forefront of your mind instead of yeah. dart sometimes. I mean, how are you going to be able to to balance that? Yeah, my um, coordinator knows about the darts. He likes the darts as well. Mm -hmm. So that's good. He gave me some time off to, to get to the pro tour, etc. And I tried to book my flights like late evening and back home early morning so I can go do my internship. But um, yeah, it's really tough. I think it will be tough, but uh, I'm up for the challenge and I'm really looking forward to get starting in both. Yeah. And I think some players would maybe put whatever it was, their job or their education behind them. But I think it's a real positive that you're focused on getting that and you've got that backup and you've you've not fully relying on darts because some, I think sometimes players can be completely consumed by darts and if it doesn't work out there that just puts pressure on doesn't it yeah, yeah for sure now I'm uh, at college now for my, five, uh, my fifth year and I just want to to get it done to have as you said yeah. something as a backup in case darts doesn't work out and, and if it maybe costs a couple of pro tours then you still got the, the rest of the year and next year as well and if not, then we'll just go back to Q school. And, you know, darts is a sport you can play until your 50th or 60th. So you got time enough. And, of course, you want it right here, right now, while you're at it. But just getting the degree is my main goal for this year. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, everybody must be asking you this, but what are your goals for, for the year? Most people say get to the World Championships, but have, yeah. you, got, have you got any other goals? You know, for sure. The, you know, last year I played the Player Championship final, which was great. I uh, want to make that again this year to be in the top half of the, the one two eight players. Yeah. Um, and yeah, of course, to make that world championship, you know, that's the, that's the dream of every player. Uh, when you start playing darts and now when you got that tour cut, you get, you're you kind of closer, but you still need to make it. And yeah. I think that's the main goal. Um, and just, yeah, just see where we can go this year, maybe make a couple of Euro tours. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think the main goal is to make the world championship, yes. Thank you very much for your time, Jay, and we wish you the best of luck with your studies, and uh, we'll Thank see you, very you much. on that first Pro Tour. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me.